guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be doing a video on taking care of your James Avery jewelry, and I'm also going to be doing a James Avery jewelry collection. Um, now, I'm only 15 years old, so I would say I do have quite a bit of James Avery charm, but I have been collecting them since I was four years old. When I was four years old, I got my first charm bracelet, and that's when I started like collecting the charm. So without further ado, let's just get on to the video. So talking about taking care of your charms. Well, James Avery has a policy where if you bring your bracelet up or anything James Avery to their store, they will clean it for you for free. And I'm not sure if that means that you're gonna to have to leave your jewelry in the store and come pick it up at a later time. I guess it kind of depends on how many charms you have and like what's going on with the staff that day. But yeah, um, another thing that you can do is you can purchase the James Avery polishing cloth and I have this and I really recommend it especially if you have as many charms as me. But it's really good because you don't have to like go drive up to the store if you want to just like polish you know a few charms or something. And it's pretty simple and I'll actually show you guys how this works. I really do recommend this. The James Avery polishing cloth comes in this plastic bag with instructions. It is folded three times with four different layers. This should never be used to clean pearls, gemstones, or 24 karat gold. As you can see, some of the areas that I've already used on the treated cloth have darkened. That is because of the chemical reaction between the treated cloth and the metal. Here I am demonstrating how to use the polishing cloth with one of my rings. Clean your jewelry with the inside cloth first. Moisten the cloth slightly for extreme tarnished places. After your jewelry is clean, then lightly buff it out with the outer cloth to create a rich luster. As you can see here, the polishing cloth really does do an amazing job leaving it pert. Here we have the arrow and heart ring, the linked heart ring, the key to my heart ring, the sign of faith ring, the scroll cross ring, and lastly the crown ring. For my charms, we have the tiny birthday cake charm, the big sister heart charm, the small angel charm, the playful puppy charm, the megaphone charm, the daddy's girl charm, the two note charm, the open butterfly with heart charm, the to my lovely granddaughter charm, the hootie owl charm, the quinceanera charm, the cat charm, you're always in my heart charm, running course charm, tender care charm, the I love you charm, and lastly, the artist palette charm. For my all hearts charm bracelet, the very first charm we have is the joyful melody charm. The next charm that we have is the joy in my heart charm. Next we have is the classic heart charm and carved into it is an M and on the back it says M plus P which stands for Mimi and Pop Pop. The next charm we have is called Centered in Love. And the very last charm is the Be Mine char heart charm. I only have one pair of earrings but I wear them all the time which are the Sign of Faith earrings. 